Hi guys, my name is Norana. So tonight, I'll be telling you a bedtime story that happened in the public housing in Singapore while I do my skincare routine. <laughs> okay, come, let's go. See, let, there's no point of putting on makeup. Just do your eyes. I wore this for almost six hours now. I went for the soap test in the morning. And let's see if the makeup still there. See, hardly any stain. Guys, sorry, I forgot to change my top. Okay, I will change top now. So, the story happened in the eastern part of Singapore. And the family had a lot of problems. Okay, we are talking about financial. And the husband was having another woman, like extramarital affair. And the husband actually wanted to file for divorce. But the... The wife, right, refused and they quarreled very frequently. So what she did was she wanted to kill herself, like go for suicide. But the scary part about this is that during her death, right, she was wearing a bright red dress. The Asian believed that if anybody ever died in wearing red dresses or red shirts or, you know, something red, it's believed that you know, he or he will come back as a revengeful spirit. It will not be a very nice spirit. It's like, in a way, like, she doesn't found peace before she died. There was no suicide note, but she wrote something on the wall. And it says, It's not over. Okay, this is the natural skincare product. It is a aloe cleansing lotion. This is good to melt down your makeup. Okay, before that, <laughs> let me remove my lashes. So many times I've told you how to remove the lashes. Make sure you just put it back in the box so that it will go back to its shape. Uh, you know, I just use my fingers. It's faster. Okay, so you just put some. I told about the mother right, who killed herself. Okay, I forgot to tell you. She, they actually have a one child together. Okay, so the the son was actually three years old. It's believed that she threw her son off the flat, which was 25 level high. Both mother and son was dead. In that time, the husband wanted to sell the house, but he could not because uh, they could just couldn't find any buyer. Okay. So, the missus had no choice but to move in. Eventually, both of them got married. See how much easily to be removed with this lotion? You think it's a happily ever after? Especially when you had an affair with somebody's husband? No. The son was three years old. Something spooky took place. The maid heard like voices like he was as if he was talking and laughing in his room. So the maid went to check on him. The maid went in to her surprise. He found that the boy was smiling. The eyes was concentrating on the wall. The maid told the story to the parents. But of course, the parents don't believe. He said, ah, come on. Like, um, was maybe the kid is just fooling around, you know. Okay, next would be like the money. Uh, you can get this for $2. You can get this in Daiso. If you think that Foria is too expensive, this also it's okay, it's a silicone scrub. Okay, so let me continue. Okay, so that same night, right, um, the son suddenly cried very loudly and he ran to his father and said that, Oh, Coco is bullying me. You know, something like that. So like the father was like scolded him and told him not to make things up. He was really furious like with his son. The boy refused to sleep in his room. So the father actually allowed the boy to sleep in his room on his bed so they were sleeping together in the middle of the night right then suddenly like loud banging of cupboards and loud cries of a child could be heard coming from the boy's room okay if you remember the boys was already in the parents room right the crying like seems so oddly familiar to him like it sounds like the cry of his first son that died okay after wash your face what you should do okay don't forget you must use your toner while your face is still moist. The father told his son to stay in the room. He and his new wife went to check on the commotion. When they entered the boy's room, nothing was found. So they were relieved. Oh, you know what? Later on, the maid suddenly screamed. 
Okay guys, the next product that I want to introduce to you guys is this. Okay, I showed you in the morning that I was using this before I put out my makeup. This is actually a hydrating water or rather they call it the cherry blossom. It's actually formulated to hydrate your skin and I remember like um, last time, like two years ago, I had a very, very bad breakup. In fact, last week, I had a heaty or not in or dehydrated dehydration, right? Actually caused all this acne under the chin. I still have to scar because I got itchy fingers. Normally, I took months to clear all this acne. But this time, I'm so lucky probably because I found the right products. And within three days, all gone. You see, it's so small. So once the cherry blossom have seeped into your skin, then only you go to the next product. Okay, so the next one I'm going to use is this. Okay, this is actually a serum. It's a H2O hydrating serum. If you remember, I told you about the maid. He's, he, she was screaming. So the husband and wife rushed back to their room to find their son standing at the edge of the windows. He was there laughing smiling waving at the parents so he had a jump so he died both the mother and maid actually fainted right on the spot yes last this is actually a aloe moisturizing and water locking cream okay okay so the police found the place once again for investigation same like the first time where the first wife uh, committed suicide so the father was a wreck, okay, he, he, he was really distraught. The mom was too sad to even speak. There's a chilling words that was scribbled on the wall in Chinese in a black actions. It says, this is for mommy. It was classified as a unnatural death. So no foul play was suspected. So until now, the house was, uh, they said that it, it's still vacant. Know why? Because there's so many capo, so many busybody around that area. They go around telling potential buyers about the history of the house. It was rumored that many neighbors heard strange eerie sounds of a woman crying on the night that, you know, all these things happen. Years have passed. But till today, many people still hear the laughter of the boy and the sobbing of the mom in the middle of the night. So, yeah. So there, my story happens in singapore the modern singapore okay guys so i'm done doing my skincare routine before i go to sleep and like all this my skincare routine okay so sometimes to be honest i'm also a very lazy person before this i don't take care of my skin and that's why i got a lot of scars on my face but i realized that it's never too late you can always start somewhere before you know it really damaged totally Okay hey guys, thank you for watching my bedtime story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop some comments below about what you think about the story and if you need to know anything about the skincare product that I was using. Okay? Okay, thank you guys. See you again next week. Bye!